U.S. reports that Michigan ranks number five when it comes to human trafficking. Kyle Macon spoke with leaders of a local organization that helps victims of these crimes. He's here for you now with one woman's story of survival and healing. At the age of 10 and 11, um, I was molested by a family friend. This is a survivor of sex trafficking right here in Lansing, talking about her traumatic childhood. She says these type of stories are common for victims of trafficking, and oftentimes the trauma leads to addiction. I got on drugs really, really bad. Um, I think in part to cover up the traumas, and that led me to being sex trafficked because I had to sell my body to get the drugs. Traffickers then use this dependency on drugs to keep women trapped in a cycle of selling their bodies. So I have to live in a dope house uh, with a man that's having me sell my body and then takes the money. I was scared of him and I was under his wing because I had nowhere to go. This was a cycle that took years to break, but after having kids, she knew she needed help. So she entered rehab and learned of the organization House of Promise. It's a group from Lansing that gives victims of trafficking a safe place to heal. Get medical needs done, dental needs done, because so many, so many of the girls have not had any of that. And so it's just rebuilding their life one block at a time. And they can stay up here uh, here for up to two years. It was no easy task, but with their help, the survivor is back on their feet living in their own apartment and gained custody of her kids again. House of Promise wants everyone to know, if you need help, just call. Here for you in Lansing, Kyle Macon, 6 News.